Lord, we thank you for the very breath of life, your first gift to us. Bless this service as our children lead us. Open our hearts and ears and minds to the gentle leading of the future of this body of faith. And now, Sister Rebecca, will you usher us into a time of worship? Does anyone need it? All got it? Okay. I don't know if you remember last year that um, our beloved Lila, um, she did a beautiful job of signing the, the um, song called Trust in You. And I just want to say that's what we're going to do today. We're trusting in the Holy Spirit and it's I will trust in you. Um, we have our backpacks on today. Um, all this year we have been uh, camping with God. We've had a special camp ground down at stairs um, where we have learned how to uh, worship God in a special way and to understand what it means to camp. And um, I just want to share one little thing before we do our worship. Is It's called Call to Worship, and to me, that means um, bringing our gratefulness and our thankfulness and all our blessings to the altar. And um, a lot of times we think about how we carry our burdens and how we have this backpack that is so full of our burdens. And I just want to say to you that I have learned over these two and a half years that carrying burdens are very tiring. So I have come up with how I survive with the camping in whatever site God puts me in, is that I fill my backpack with things that I am grateful for, the things I have been blessed with, and it is in that that I'm taking off this very light load of mine and giving it to God as a way of worship. As you can see, the P, that means you, the people. L means these beautiful leaders. Camping with God. When we are sad and lonely, help us to help us to camp out with you, God. When we find it hard to do what is right, help us to camp out with you, God. When we feel Help us to camp out with you, God. When we 
are sick. Help us to begin that with you, God. Every day of our lives, help us to camp out with you, God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lorraine and Lucas and Julia. How precious. Help us to camp out with you, God. Now, friends, we have our first song of the service. That is Do Lord, Do Lord. How many remember that from your childhood? Yes. Why don't we stand together? The words are on the back of the bulletin. Let's stand on the back of the bulletin. You will find the words. Let us lift up. Uh, this song together. Let me hear you, church. Here we go. Do Lord, oh do Lord, oh do remember me. Do Lord, oh do Lord, oh do remember me. Do Lord, oh do Lord. Anybody faster? Let's start that third paragraph a little faster. Here we go. remain standing actually <laughs> you know clapping is always risky um, uh, <laughs> at this time we will have our invocation and Lord's Prayer that will be led by Miss Caroline Gates come on up Caroline dear Holy Spirit we invite you into this place with us. We want to see what you see, hear what you hear, and love the way you love. Dear Holy Spirit, we invite you into this place, place with us. And we ask this in the way our Lord Jesus taught us to pray, by saying, Our, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily
be seated. And now let us offer gifts unto the Lord. For scripture tells us that every good and perfect gift comes from above. I invite you now to think about what gifts you might offer to the family of God, the kingdom of God, not only in this church, but in this village, in the state of Vermont, and even around the country and the world. We will now have the children come forward as we prepare to collect the offer.
not going to cry, Grace. I'm not going to cry. <laughs> and now we'll have a presentation from our Christian Ed Board led by Ms. Grace Freeman. Forth. So there is a beautiful ritual here where we have a Bible presentation for our young friends who are entering the fourth grade, and we have for them their very own full, complete Bible, the New Revised Standard Version. The pastor is proud of that, uh, but it has pictures and graphics and explanations of the biblical stories and children theology. And then on the inside flap, I, their pastor, have inscribed a personal note to each of our children there. So we'll be presenting these Bibles uh, now. So first, entering the fourth grade, we would love to present this Bible to Miss Amaya Freund. Come on up. <laughs> going in the fifth, but we are making up for last year. <laughs> Next, coming on down, we have Miss Lena Jones. <laughs> and this Bible is being presented to Mr. Will Norton. Come on down. Church, let's hear it one more time for these teachers who shepherd our children Sunday after Sunday in loving and creative ways. We are so, so grateful. And now we'll have an announcement from Nora. Now let us share the peace of Christ with one another.
pray, church. inspired by the literal voice of children. How precious is it to have children inviting you, God, to send your love and your power and your grace. Children inviting you to send your spirit in this place. Children inviting you to listen to your children pray. We are all children of God and have come before you with requests asking for mending of the brokenness in bodies, cancer diagnoses, rolled ankles, broken ankles. Lord, we pray for mending and wholeness in the brokenness of our bodies. But this morning, Lord, we also pray for mending and wholeness in the brokenness of our spirits. If anyone has entered this space with a heavy heart, with a down spirit, crestfallen, or sad, or on the edge, we pray for the mending of brokenness of spirits as well, Lord, that they may be touched by the love and the grace and the kindness that is authentic to this space and who may leave feeling just a tad bit lighter. Perhaps joy and peace closer within reach. We not only pray for the brokenness of bodies and spirits, but also for the brokenness of minds. If we at times aren't in control of our minds, if we're tormented by our minds, we ask for a stillness and a calmness and a kind of mental clarity and peace. Lord, these are the requests that were mentioned out loud. We now pray for the unspoken prayer requests the things that we wouldn't dare speak aloud, the requests that we hold deep in our hearts that only you and we know. We invite your strength even there, Lord. We invite your provision. We invite your help and rescue and support for the unspoken prayer requests. And through it all, divine love, we pray for your presence to hold our hands through whatever fire we might be walking through. Because if the timeline doesn't happen in the way that we would wish, knowing that you are holding our hands at the ancient of days, the creator of the universe, the epitome of divine love <clears throat> is on our side and in our corner. That can make all the difference. We ask this in the name of incarnate love, who we call Jesus the Christ. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> One of the things that we started out doing when we started camping with God was to learn how to spell Bible and how to spell Jesus. And we did that through our songs. And today they are going to share with you the first one, the Bible. The Thank you. 
And they did indeed learn the word of God from 1 Peter 5, 7. God, our Bible verse. God cares about you. And from 1 John 5, 11. Love one another. In the next song, we will sing through once and then we're going to ask you, your beautiful congregation, to join us. It's on the uh, phone, the hangout, handout that they did for you. J E S U S. There. Join us with that. There is a man who loves you so, and Jesus is his name. J-E-S-U-S, 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 and Jesus is his name. And I have to say one thing. Um, I've always taught. Uh, fifth and sixth grade, um, but this year there was no fifth or sixth graders to teach, and I thought, oh, oh dear, now what do I do? Um, and then I thought of my sister Linda, who said teaching the preschoolers in kindergarten was the best class to teach. So I took her lead, and I did that. But I'd have to say it took a village this time. I wasn't prepared that it would, but it did. Um, but I am so thankful for Carolyn Brown, who um, substituted uh, for Donna Wood, for Lisa, my sister, and my beloved husband. Couldn't have done it without you guys. So I hope you guys will help out with summer Bible camp, because you're going to have people like these and these. <laughs> to share your time with and do some more camping with God. I wasn't here last week. I know she made a small cameo, but how wonderful is it to hear Lorraine's voice and see her in this space uh, together. Lorraine, it blesses my soul um, to see and hear you in this space, my dear. Not as much as it blesses mom. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Amen. All right, Amaya? She's going to make a slight announcement. Okay. Now it's time for the adult message, which has actually been happening the whole church service. Good morning. One of the things we studied this year was the fruits of the Spirit. There are nine of them. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control.
This is a skit. This skit is a parable about joy, about how someone brought joy into a drab, dreary world. People once lived in a land far, far away, who were always sad and sad they did stay. For no reason at all, they were gloomy and gray, never with anything happy to say. It's bad, so sad, there's no reason to be glad. Hope was not to be found anywhere, but they never looked for the bright side. They never really once tried, because every day they just cried and cried. It's sad, so sad, there's no reason to be glad. <laughs> One day, a girl dressed in colors came to town, but all anyone could do was frown and frown. And when she did her best to make them smile, even as she danced, they pouted all the while. It's sad, so sad, there's no reason to be glad. <laughs> Something different about the girl got the people to soon realize, but thinking it had to do with her small size, they only began to question and criticize. She really is quite small, not very tall. She's not very helpful at all. <laughs> <laughs> they did not stop to think or to look, and they wondered and thought, but only they saw that they were raw and could not see what they were all. I don't bet. She doesn't fit. Not one teeny tiny bit. They, uh, so at first her presence did annoy, but as the girl kept dancing on with joy, on and on and by and by, the color of her clothes caught their eye. I see it, bit by bit. Something about her just might fit. Very soon, it did not take long, hope took root and love grew strong. The little girl's joy began to spread, giving way the gray and gloom was dead. We finally really understood. Then, the land, which was far, far away, started growing brighter each and every day. The people who began to live in a bright new color, because now they were all encouraging each other. This is good, as we should. We finally really understood. The land, which was far, far away, The land, which was far, far away, started growing brighter each and every day. The people began to live a, night, a nice new color because now they were encouraging each other. So good, there was even a mic drop moment. <laughs> well done, children. And I know because I witnessed it, Lori Rivers, Judy Brown, and Nancy Stevens have been, you may not understand quite what it takes to even pull that off. So I want to salute Judy and Nancy and Lori uh, for this skit. <laughs> And ladies, you were wonderful, yes. wonderful. And the number one rule of show business, the show must go on. <laughs> well, friends, as we are nearing the close of our children's Sunday, we will now lift up a hymn uh, that is found in your hymnal. Hymn number 466, What a Friend We Have in Jesus, thinking of Jesus as a friend to walk with you, to encourage you, to bring color to what might be a dreary, drab day. Will you stand with me if you are able, and if you'd like to, hymn number 466, of what a friend we have in Jesus. Let's lift our voices up together, friends. <laughs>
benediction that's going to come from on high. <laughs> the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. Amen. Amen. Before we leave, kids, come on stage. Julia Lucas, come on stage. We need to take a bow for to celebrate our Today. Wonderful. And now, friends, the weather looks good. Jim Brown. I want to also lift up as, as one of the youth of Mr. Wyatt Boyer, who is very generous to the service. And thank you very much. Yes, yes. Wyatt Boyer. Invaluable. So, friends, next.